front because we're crossing. The magnetos are off, and that's it. Wow, Whew. that's a lot going through. Yeah, that's uh, it seems overwhelming when you first start <laughs> flying because it's new, right? Yeah, it's like anything else that if you're learning it's new, it seems just completely overwhelming. What you're learning. Yeah, um, I was actually kind of overwhelmed the way you're using your carburetor so often. Yeah, just uh, you want to make sure that you don't have any carburetor icing, right? And that's actually mostly a ground school item. Yeah, that when you're doing ground school. Uh, you, you're learning how to use all those controls and when to use them, why you're using them. And so, you know, if cars don't go through different pressure altitude and different density altitude, mm -hmm. airplanes do, as well as we, we use air to cool down the aircraft, right? Yeah. So we don't want to shock freeze the aircraft so we can introduce warm air into it as we're descending, say, with a little bit of power. Got it. Just to make sure everything's okay. okay. So just watch your feet as you slide down. You know what? Like, yeah, you can get up first. I'll hold yeah, so, I mean, because there's no cool there, I mean, at 3,500, I mean, you're constantly, just ch every 15 minutes you check, but before you descend and before you um, uh, just go into cruise, you want to check, right? Right. So, and that's it. I'm just going to record uh, the times here, just one sec. And so this, your, that was your uh, rear trim? This was the trim here. Yeah, so that's a back elevator. guy with the flow plane, I guess it's the hobbyist. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is the elevator, but this is going to trim the elevator. So once you get to bigger planes that have more power, right, you'll have one on the rudder as well. Just a little bit, one wheel this way, uh -huh. and one wheel this way. Okay. So depending on how you've loaded the aircraft, you may have more weight in the back, more weight in the front, more weight on one side, more weight on the other, mm -hmm. to make sure everything's level. And as you're draining fuel, your uh, weights and balance are changing. Right, okay. Right, so you're taking away some of the, the fuel from above you, which is, you know, either behind or in front of the pilots, depending on the configuration of the plane. Mm -hmm. And so you're having to make adjustments to maintain altitude and airspeed. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot to learn. Oh, it's 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 so fun to learn. Like, Yeah, I know. Yeah. It seems overwhelming now because we just, I mean, that was a half hour. We just did a full flight. But, you know, the next time you come around, more detailed walk around. Yeah. Right. Then after say two or three of those, you're doing the walk around. With yeah. The instructor watching you and asking you questions. And then after maybe five or six flights, you're doing the walk around alone. The instructor's going to come out. And, you know, once some trust is built up, and say, how much fuel do we have on board? So how much time do we have in the air? You know, what is our range? How much oil is in the system? How much oil could you put in the system? Mm -hmm. When would you have to put oil in the system because we can't fly? Is the oil dirty? How was the how are the fuel strings? You know, they may throw like a bolt on the ground to see if you figure and find it and pick it up and see if you're thorough. Um, and it's just each day is one more step, one more step. And as the steps go up, all of a sudden, 
the pilots saying, okay, well, let's take a different landing and let's see if you can land the aircraft, right? Yeah. And, you know, we fly these things so often that we know when you're getting yourself into trouble or not. And it's, you just sort of, it's, it's a building blocks. It's tons of fun. Cool, awesome. Thank you very, very much. much. You're welcome. That was great. Just leave it like